I need to build a relationship with my supervisor so that I'm, uh, I can tell the truth to her and she can tell the truth to me. So from day one, I need to keep in touch with her. Now this is very hard because we all get involved with our own classrooms, but if I keep in touch with her and I go to her when I'm having a challenge, then she knows that I'm willing to grow. If I've built that relationship with her, then when I go to her to say, look, I'm really upset about this. My teacher's aide is not, I've talked with her about this three times and documented it each time, but she keeps almost raising her voice to the kids. And I can feel it if I'm on the other side of the room. So I've tried to talk with her and I've asked you for some advice and I've applied that advice and honestly I'm not getting anywhere. Can you, can you help me out? And maybe even she and I can come together to you because I don't know what to do. So what I'm saying is one, build a relationship with your supervisor so that the person knows you're telling, I'm telling the truth. Two, try to work it out directly with the person this is very tough because the data, again, says 70% of women avoid conflict and cannot bear to be around it. I have seen people get sweaty. I've seen people get like, I can't take it. I'd rather die than be in the middle of this confrontation. I've worked on this a lot because sometimes I had to take Latin because I'm that old, you know. So, but, but confrontation doesn't mean to smack somebody upside the head. It means to bring people together to face the issue. So coming from that principle that conflict isn't hurting someone, conflict is coming together and sitting almost, you and I could sit at the same side of the table and say, here's the problem over here. The problem we've got is we've got a lot of kids that have really difficult home backgrounds and they come to us and they need a lot. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist. And so you're not either, but we've got kids that have real challenges. What can we do? How can you help me and how can I help you to work with these kids? So there's a difference between conflict being we're going to hurt each other and conflict being we've got a problem because life is problems, right? We've got a problem. How can we work together? And here's the key thing, for the sake of the children.